Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Who Cook Crochet. I'm Sandy, coming at you on day 11 of Vlogmas. Vlogmas day 11. We made it to day 11. It is kind of a dreary day out today. It, it kind of is like a depressing day. The fact that it's Friday makes it not that bad. But, uh... It's Friday. Well, what, what does that mean during a pandemic? That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It just means another day is gone by and we're still stuck in the house except to go to doctors or groceries or work if you're not working from home. Today, my husband worked from home. He kind of gets in my way when he works from home. I have laundry to do, I have cooking to do, I have uh, dishes to wash, I gotta do my stuff on the computer, I got my crochet, and I gotta do more, make some phone calls, you know, call this doctor, call that doctor, check on this website, watch some YouTube videos, and look at my comments that people drop on my videos, and thank you. Your comments are very appreciated. You know what else is appreciated? Your thumbs. I really like your thumbs. So don't forget to give me your thumb when you watch my videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. So this weekend is just going to be another weekend in. And oh, yesterday. Yesterday, I figured out the name of the movie that I was talking about, where the girl lives with that man who wants all the labels, you know, because I pointed out to those labels. He wants all the labels in the correct position in the cabinets. That was Sleeping with the Enemy with Julia Roberts. There goes my watch. Sleeping with the Enemy with Julia Roberts. That was a good movie. And when I found that out, I'm like, oh, that was such a good movie. Now I, go, I want to watch it. So I downloaded that and I'm in the middle of it. So I'm, because I really, it's hard for me to sit and watch a movie, the whole thing in one sitting. I usually watch part of it and then the next day another part of it and then the next day or maybe later on that day another part of it. Just because I have a lot of things going on, even though I'm still here in the house. Got a lot of things going on in this in this home of mine. A lot of things because the wheels, you know, what makes the wheels turn in the house? You got to cook and clean and do laundry and cook more and clean more and do more laundry and cook more and clean more and do more laundry and then there's a the vacuuming and then the sweeping and the mopping and the dusting. Gosh, on top of your regular job, you know, it's it's just it's just a lot. I'm glad I don't have children, little children, in my home to keep track of their online learning because I'm not. I don't have patience for that. So shout out to all of you moms out there who are doing it. Good job because. I know it's got to be hard. It, anything, really anything out of the norm, anything different out of, from the ordinary, it's, it's, it's hard to adjust to things, to new things. And some people do okay with it, but others, they have a hard time with it. So, did I tell you my son got a job outside the home? So that's good. He got a job. Don't really understand what he does at his job, but the good thing is that he is enjoying. He doesn't have to interact with other people at this job, so he likes that. That's the best kind of job to have in a pandemic, if uh, unless you work from home, you know, to avoid people. But shout out to all of you who who work with people and interact with different people, customers, and, and patients. You know, that's a lot of exposure to the virus, to germs, 
and I feel, you know, more appreciation towards those people than I did before. Like the people making your burgers at the restaurant, the people checking you out at the grocery store, they're interacting with a lot of people. They're encountering, they're making an encounter with more germs. So it's a risky job now that they are heroes, just like the, the police officers and the firefighters. They're up there too, because they're putting their health in jeopardy just by going to work. But you know what? You have to put food on the table. So you got to do what you got to do, right? To tomato, to, I'm sorry, to tomorrow, tomato, tomorrow's Saturday, and Saturdays are a nice day. It, it, it's still, even though we're in a pandemic, it's that there's still a feel for Saturday. So that'll be, that'll be, you know, the only thing we could do is look forward to another day, right? Right. And then on Sunday, Sunday, I am going to attempt to go live again and my husband will be happy because he'll have me in this background he was getting tired of playing wall that I had in because I had you guys over in my my real office which is the kitchen that's my office that's where everything that happens good to anybody that lives here it starts in the kitchen well or in the laundry room back there. So so I'm going to go live on Sunday. But I will be back tomorrow to do another vlog. It will be day 12. Uh, day 12 on a Saturday. Oh, okay. All right. And then we're just that much closer to Christmas. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be done with Vlogmas once Christmas comes. All right. So until, until we meet again, take care and stay safe. Bye.